Whitby is our first etude in the double lateral stroke section. Now for this etude, I chose an unwrapped rubber mallet. I chose this mallet because I think that you can clearly hear the grace notes in the left hand motive in the opening. Notice that the melodic content in Whitby is similar to Fry. Remember to follow the line, keep your accompaniment soft, and make sure that your melody has a sense of contour. Now, toward the end, there's a unique challenge. If you're playing on a marimba with a low F, the player is asked to play the lowest octave Fs to the highest octave Fs. Now, this can be a challenge for any player. Here's a way that might help you. With my students, I ask them to think of a column going from the top of their head to the middle of their feet. As I'm straight to the instrument, I want to play all the notes that I can possibly play with very good playing spots in that column. Now, when a note falls outside of that column, I want to avoid shifting my upper body to reach for that note. Why? Because when I reach to the left, my right hand is going to be pulled off the notes it's playing and cause inaccuracies. The way you may be able to alleviate this problem is to use your knees. If, as you drop your knees, your reach is extended and you can stay in the column without shifting your upper body. Watch how I play the very last bar of Whitby and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> 